Hello everybody, welcome to your uh, Astro Guidance for the week. Hope you're doing well and that you'd had a, a wonderful weekend. So using the Lenormand Oracle, we are going to see what ha what this week has in store for us. Okay, so if you want to have a private reading with me or if you want to have an individual class, you can check all the information on my website angelcartomancy.com so let's start with the reading okay so cut card for this week we have the snake and we have the key okay so some challenging uh, situation may come up for you this week through uh, a woman okay with the snake it's uh, it can embody a woman um, a person that is uh, really attracted to you because you're successful, okay? So this may be someone who uh, want to obtain something from you. So you really need to be um, to be uh, cautious with, with that person, okay? Uh, the key is good. The key means that in any case, you're going to handle the situation in a wonderful way. Okay, and it's also um, a card that tells you there is an opening, but beware of people who may be envious or jealous. Okay, so you're going to listen to your sun sign, your moon sign, and also your uh, your ascendant. I'm going to pull 12 cards for each. Um, let me just pull that. Okay, for each sign of the zodiac, I want to have an overall look at the cards first and then, you know, give you my, my feelings and my intuition on each card for each sign. Okay. Okay, so what we can see at a first glance is that there are, um, in this 12-card spread, there is actually three cards that shows movement and going forward. You have the ship, you have the stork, and you have the rider. So this week is a is really a week where you will want to to move, to take decisions, you know, there is a lot of things moving forward. It could be you taking, you know, some kind of um, of great big decision that will lead you to, you know, to a, a grand opening to something new. In any case, know that this week you're not going to stay uh, in a situation of, of stagnation, okay? You will be able to to move forward you will be able to find solution to your problem and um, also there are some urgent um, things that uh, needs your attention it could be paperwork it could be uh, some kind of, of, of administrative procedures that you're going through but in any case you have the key the, to you know to open the door so the first card for the um, the Aries, you have the Sun. Sun is one of the most powerful cards in the deck, telling you that your week is going to be uh, really, you know, of high vibration. You're going to shine. You're going to be the center of attention. You will be brave, bold, and courageous. Okay? The Sun gives you all this positive energy to go and move forward. The Taurus, you have the dog. The dog is about, you know, um, being uh, gentle, being a good friend, being loyal and, uh, and sincere. So you could be uh, this week dealing with this kind of per person. And also it's, uh, it's a call, you know, to tell you this week, be gentle with yourself, have patience and trust your instinct, trust your feelings. Dog really feel... Uh, energies and all these kind of things so this week you really need to focus upon your um, your instinct about your feelings okay friendship will be also something important for you this week Gemini you have the ship the ship it's moving forward going through you know some change it's also a good card for those who 
are working as you know uh, independent freelancers because the ship is commerce it's you know transaction uh, it could be also things going to foreign countries so if you have a uh, like a shop Etsy shop or uh, a website this week is going to be good there is a lot of orders that will come in and also there will be people uh, traveling soon uh cancer you have the roads okay the roads or the crossroad is a card of decision it's like you are at a crossroad of a situation and it really needs your attention okay really needs your focus so this week uh try to choose the path that leads you to joy and to happiness and let everything else you know drop everything else be uh, focus on where you want to go and what kind of experience and people you want to meet. So the universe is listening to your prayers, Cancer. Leo, Leo, you have the moon. Moon is a card that asks you to listen to your intuition, to your gut feelings, and also pay attention to your dreams. Okay, we know that you, Leos, you are bold people that really uh, want to be the center of attraction. And this week, uh, the moon asks you to be more gentle. There will be a magnetic attraction going on with you and people and situation, but let it be coming to you smoothly. Don't try to push anything, to rush into anything, okay? Virgo, you have the stork. The stork is changed moving forward. It's also got a fertility for me. So it could be that there is something in you in gestation that uh, is going to be, uh, you're going to, be giving birth uh, soon it could be also you moving from from a house from a job from uh, a country stroke is always an upgrade into your situation so it's good okay in any case whatever comes to you this week it will be to able you to move forward to the next level to, to the next step libra you have the key we have seen it in the cut cards and it's here again and uh, this is uh, a week of solution, finding solution, being strategic, opening doors and testing your luck. OK, everything that you will be dealing with will be smooth and easy. So don't stress. Uh, Scorpio, you have the whip. The whip is about, you know, round and round and round. It goes again. It's being into a cycle. It's also being angry about a situation or a person so maybe uh, you're feeling that you have been disadvantaged in certain situation that people had not thought about your well-being uh, thought about the way you should you know you should be and uh, this is a calling for diplomacy and gentleness okay don't um, don't be you know in a rage trying to be more strategic trying to plan things that will serve you versus things that will put you more down maybe there are some people against you and that is working again your your energy so the whip is clearing here you need you need to clear yourself spiritually mentally and you know a new boost and you can go again um, the Sagittarius, you have the letter. Letter, it's paperwork. It's also news coming into written forms. It could be, you know, uh, applying for a job, filling a form, uh, all these kind of administrative situation. The letter, it's good uh, because it's not positive or negative. It's neutral card. So whatever will come to you, it will be to inform you of certain things. Okay, the letter could be also a message from the universe trying to connect to you and try to get your attention uh we move now to capricorn you have the rider rider is moving forward going rapidly to from spot a to spot b it's also receiving messages visits and also meeting a young slender person so if you're looking for a flirt or uh, this kind of situation uh, the rider is there this week. There, it will give you the boost and the energy to do things and to move forward. Moving now to Aquarius, you have the tree. Treats about you know um, being um, a little bit worried about health issues or your uh, your uh, both physical and spiritual health. So uh, this card is an invitation to take care of yourself and to 
trying to, you know, to uh, renew your energy, trying to anchor yourself, trying to be more zen. And maybe why don't you try some kind of, you know, of, of tea and, um, and uh, you know, organic fruits and vegetables and eat more greeneries. This will really help you. Uh, it, it is also showing me that someone in your family could have a health issue that is uh, getting a little bit more difficult day by day. And prayers will be, you know, a kind of uh, a remedy that will help to to smooth things out. Uh, then we end with the Pisces. Pisces, you have the mount. Don't move. Don't do anything this week. Be stagnant. Take this time to meditate, to think, to plan, to, I don't know, create a vision board. Because you are at a time where you've been through half of the things you've planned for this year. And it's time for you to do a review and check out, you know, what is your um, motivation and what do you want to, to put forward, Okay. So that was your reading, my friends. Hope it really helped you. And uh, of course, you can find my decks and uh, all my services on my uh, webpage, angelcartomancy.com. I look forward to read your comments and uh, to see new people coming to the channel. And also, uh, you can share uh, the video with your friends and on your social media. Have a great day and talk to you next week for our reading. Thank you so much for watching the videos and thank you for all your thumbs up, your likes. You can also share me with your friends or on your social media or on your Facebook group. And also don't forget to subscribe simply by clicking on the subscription button and activate the bell so you get notified as a new video come in. Have a great day and hope to see you on the next one.